everyone. My name is Janet Cordova. I am the regional administrator here for the NFGP program in Pennsylvania. I'm going to go ahead and tell you about one of our farm workers and their success story. Eddie Ariola migrated to the United States at the age of 19. Coming from a small town called San Juan Jaripeo, located in Guanajuato, Mexico, Eddie had the American dream that everyone dreams of, coming to the United States for a better future. Being an undocumented worker at the time, Eddie had many jobs that required much physical work and long hours of work. <clears throat> he was sometimes working 60 to 70 hours a week, making the minimum wage. This was very frustrating for Eddie because it was taking time away from, from him spending time with his family and wife. He was working through holidays, harsh weather conditions, and missing out on many important family events. Being an undocumented worker had been one of the most difficult situations he had to learn to deal with here in the United States. Eddie had the opportunity to apply for his permanent, permanent residency. It was a long, stressful, and expensive process, but thanks to his caseworker, he was approved for his permanent residency. This was such a positive change for him. He was so thankful he would be able to work a normal job and not be mis mistreated for being, for being undocumented. We had contacted Paso to help for help finding a job. At the time, we had been shut down for the for the pandemic COVID-19, but assisted him via Zoom and working from home on his case. We data validated him and enrolled him into our training and employment program, where we were able to connect him to a company that was willing to train and teach him a new skill. Since day one, Eddie mentioned he was looking to learn a new skill, which would allow him to work for a company and make a career out of it. He was very interested in learning about construction and carpentry. We were fortunate enough to connect with Beck, who was at the time urgently hiring and was willing to train. We coordinated an interview with the owner, Richard Basilio, who hired him on the spot. Eddie was so happy and thankful for the new opportunity. After following up with the owner and Eddie, we heard nothing but great things about both. Every time we speak to the owner, he always says he needs, he needs more employees like Eddie. Thanks to his new job, Eddie has, been, has a better salary, he's able to spend more time with his family, and was able to purchase his first time home. Eddie can express how grateful he feels for the opportunity Pastone and Mobeck were able to provide to him. We wish nothing but the best to Eddie.